Test, test, test. I can hear you clearly, thank you. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the council meeting for this Monday, the 27th of March for 6pm. We'll begin with the opening affirmation and acknowledgement of country. We gather to represent the people of Albury who have entrusted us with this task. May our efforts be blessed with insight, wisdom and common sense. May our personal values give us honesty and courage to serve our community effectively and with respect for all. We would like to acknowledge the Wiradjuri people as the traditional custodians of the land that we meet upon today and pay our respects to the elders past, present and future, for they hold the memories, culture, tradition and hopes of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people that contribute to our community. <laughs> Item two, recording and webcasting of the meeting. This council meeting is being webcast and recorded. By speaking at the council meeting, you agree to being recorded and webcast. Please ensure that if and when you're speaking at this council meeting that you are respectful to other people and use appropriate language. Albury City accepts no liability for any defamatory or offensive remarks or gestures made during the course of this council meeting. An audio recording will be made for administrative purposes. Item three, conflict of interest declarations received by the Chair and disclosure of political donations. Mr CEO. Uh, thank you, Mayor King. I've received um, three conflict of interest declarations. Uh, first one is from Councillor Ashley Edwards, a non-pecuniary significant conflict of interest. The nature of the interest is um, that Councillor Edwards has family connection to the the school, in this case, the Trinity School. Uh, at this council meeting, the agenda item is uh, CM 13.1, the uh, development application for 21 Elizabeth Mitchell Drive, the Gurna, which is the Trinity High School redevelopment or school redevelopment. And the action that Councillor Edwards intends to take is to leave the chamber. Uh, the second conflict of interest declaration is from Councillor David Thurley. It's a non-pecuniary significant interest. Uh, the conflict of interest, the nature of that is that Councillor Thurley is a member of the Joint Regional Planning Panel, which will consider the subject application, again, uh, item CM 13.1, Trinity, Trinity Anglican uh, School Redevelopment, and the action Councillor Thurley will take is to leave the chamber. And the third conflict of interest de declaration is from um, Councillor Alice Glacken, a non-pecuniary, less than significant um, it relates to item 17.1, provision of car parking, Aubrey CBD. Uh, Councillor Glacken lives in, in close proximity to the CBD. 
and that's item 17.1 in confidential. The action to be taken is that Councillor Clacken will leave the chamber and not participate in discussion or vote in that matter. Um, in terms of disclosures of political donations, um, the Environmental Planning Act 1979 section 10.4 requires a person submitting a planning application or submissions regarding a planning application to disclose any reportable political donation and or gifts to any local councillor or employee of the council. Reportable political donations include those of or above $1,000. The disclosure statement forms are available on council's website or from customer service and must be lodged in accordance with the Act. In dealing with development applications, councillors need to take into account specific planning matters contained in the in the Act. Accordingly, the provisions of 4.151 of that Act are set out in the Council Officer's Report detailing planning issues to be considered. The Local Government Act Section 375A requires that a division be called whenever a motion for a planning decision is put at a meeting of the Council. Planning decision means a decision made in the exercise of a function of Council under the Act, including a decision relating to a development application, an environmental planning instrument, a development control plan or a development contribution plan under that Act, but not including the making of an order under Division 9.3 of Part 9 of that Act. Thank you, Mayor King. Item CM4, apologies, 4.1. Do a councillor wish to move? Oh, there are no apologies. That's the next one. My apologies. CM 4.2, attendance by councillors at a meeting by audio visual link. Councillor Betteridge. Thank you. Through you, Mayor King, I'd like to move that council receive, note and accept the attendance of Councillor Cameron via audio visual link for the meeting. Thank you. Councillor Baker. Uh, second the motion, Mayor King. Happy to put the motion. Those for, those against, the motion is carried. CM5, Merrill Minute, there is none. CM6, Action Plans. Councillor Thurley. Uh, thank you, Mayor King. I move the following action plans be received and noted. One, actions complete for noting only. Two, actions awaiting response from external parties. Three, actions in progress. And four, long-term issues more than three months. Thank you. Councillor Bowen. I'd like to second that motion in making. Thank you. Councillor Thurley, did you wish to speak to motion? Councillors, any speakers for or against or questions? In that case, happy to put the motion. Those for? Those against? The motion is carried. Thank you, councillors. CM7, confirmation of minutes of previous meetings. CM7.1, minutes of the council meeting held on the 13th of March, 2023 at 6.18pm. Councillor Bowen. Thank you, Mayor King. I'd like to move that the minutes of the council meeting held on the 13th of March, 2023 at 6.18pm be confirmed. Thank you. Councillor Callaghan. Thank you, Mayor King. I'd like to second the motion. Thank you. Happy to put the motion. Those for? Those against? That motion is carried. CM8, reports from community forums. There are none. CM9, notices of motion or notices of rescission. There are none. CM10, presentations and deputations. There are none. CM11, reports or minutes of committees and working parties. CM11.1, Lauren Jackson Sports Centre Advisory Committee Minutes. 22nd of February, 2023, Councillor Bowen. Thank you, Mayor King. I'd like to uh, move that the Council receives notes and accepts the minutes, recommendations of the Lauren Jackson Sports Centre Advisory Committee meeting held on Wednesday, the 22nd of February, 2023. Thank you. Councillor Thurley. Second the motion, Mayor King. Thank you. Councillor Bowen, do you wish to speak to the motion? Uh, yes, please, if I may, just uh, briefly... Uh, Great news regarding the uh, motion is that, uh, or the meeting, I should say, is that uh, the tender documents are, are happening uh, and uh, what's taking place now is that the basketball is oversubscribed. Uh, so we have uh, a full capacity on uh, on the whole association and there's over currently 100 juniors that uh, are on a waiting list. So uh, basketball is really uh, on the move. And uh, just to know that we're going to start with the redevelopment uh, in the next uh, month or so will be fantastic and what's going to take place first of all is they're going to move the the um 
the canteen area and the and uh, the entry of the stadium to the opposite side so that that'll start first and then work will commence on the uh, courts themselves so all in all uh all going smoothly so far thank you councillor bowen any other councils wish to speak for or against in that case happy to put the motion those for those against that motion is carried thanks councillors CM 11.2 Audit Risk and Improvement Committee meeting for the 1st of March 2023. Councillor Glacken. Uh, thank you. Through you to move the recommendations as a motion that Council receives notes and accepts the minutes recommendations for the Audit uh, Risk and Improvement Committee uh, meeting held on Wednesday, the 1st of March 2023. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Thurley. Second the motion, Mickey. Thank you. Councillor Glacken, did you wish to speak? To no, that's motion? fine. Everyone can read for that. Perfect. In that case, uh, if there's no other comments or questions from any other councillors, we'll put the motion. Those. For oh, sorry, you did have one. Sorry, Councillor Thurley. Uh, just to briefly note, one of the emerging risks which was identified at that meeting was uh, to do with workforce and resource management. I'm sure our... our uh, managers understand this but a significantly high turnover rate and difficulties with as we've heard with recruitment and head hunting and pay rates are significant problems for this council and for all councils across new south wales so just to note that thank you councillor thurley any other councillors wish to make a comment in that case happy to put the motion those for those against that motion is carried CM 11.3, Les O'Brien Athletics Precinct Advisory Committee Minutes for the 1st of March 2023, Councillor Betteridge. You, you I'd like to move that Council receives, notes and accepts the minutes, recommendations of Les O'Brien Athletics Precinct Advisory Committee meeting held on Wednesday the 1st of March 2023. Thank you. Councillor Glacken. Happy to second that. Thank you. Councillor Betteridge, do you wish to speak to the motion? Uh, no, thank you, Mackie. Councillors, anyone else wish to speak for or against or with a question? In that case, happy to put the motion. Those for, those against, that motion is carried. CM 12 documents for sealing, 12.1, there are none. CM 13 officers reports for consideration. CM 13.1 Development Application 10.2022.397171.421 Elizabeth Mitchell Drive, The Guna, Trinity Anglican College Consideration of Submission to the Joint Regional Planning Panel, noting that Councillor Thurley and Councillor Edwards are leaving the Chamber. In the meantime, does a Councillor wish to... Oh, we'll just wait, nearly there. Thank you. They've now left the room. If a councillor would like to move the motion, Councillor Callahan. Thank you, Mayor King. I'd like to move that the council A receives and notes the report and B determines if council is to make a separate submission to the Southern Regional Planning Panel in relation to the development application or DA 10.2022.39. Point one, which seeks approval for the redevelopment of Trinity Anglican College and includes the demolition of a number of structures, construction of three new school buildings, bus drop-off area and driveways, multi-sports courts, signage, tree removal, earthworks and retaining walls on lot 71 in DP 10489900. Nine situated at 421 Elizabeth Mitchell Drive, Thaguna. Hoping I got all those numbers correct. You did. Councillor Cullen, we just need to move whether you are happy for us uh, to make a submission or not. Yes. We're happy to make a submission. Yeah, okay. So yes. we might slightly in support. reword that uh, in support. Make yep. a submission in support. So just to clarify. <laughs> no. There you go. There's a bit more detail to your motion that you might like to reflect for us. Yes, 
that counsel A receives a notes report and B determines to make a separate submission to the Southern Regional Planning Panel supporting the development and expansion of Trinity Anglican College Development Application 10.2022.39. 717.1, subject to the appropriate management of impacts to the surrounding community. Thank you, Councillor Callahan. Thanks for your patience with yeah. that. Well, we got the right one up for you. Councillor Bowen. Thank you, Mayor King. Happy to second that motion. Councillor Callahan, do you wish to speak to the motion at all? No, thank you, Mayor King. Thank you, Councillor Callahan. Any uh, speakers for or against in relation to this motion? If not, happy to put the motion. Those four. Oh, in division, that's right. Councillor in favour, yes. We have Councillor Cameron, Councillor Callahan, Councillor Bowen, Councillor King, Councillor Betteridge, Councillor Glacken, Councillor Baker, and none against. So that motion is carried. Thank you, councillors in division there. So we're just waiting on the councillors. Thurley and Edwards to return to the chamber. Thank you, councillors. Our next item, CM 13.2, construction of raw water cross-connection contract number 22-02068. Zero, Councillor Thurley. I think you, Mayor King. I move that Council accepts the tender from the court system proprietary limited for contract number 22-02060, construction of raw, raw water cross connection at Albury Water Filtration Plant with a lump sum contract value of $351,441, including GST. Thank you. Councillor Glacken. Uh, thank you. Very happy to second that. Thank you. Councillor Thurley, did you wish to speak to this one? Uh, just to note that once again, our water people are right on top of things and um, providing a very sensible safety measure with this cross-connection. Thank you, Councillor Thurley. Any other speakers for or against? Happy to put the motion. Those for? Those against? That motion is carried. Thank you, Councillor. CM 13.3 East Albury Precinct Plan. This is in relation to the project scope and stakeholder engagement plan. Councillor Callahan. Thank you, Mayor King. I'd like to move that the council endorses the project scope and stakeholder engagement plan for the East Albury Precinct Plan. Thank you, Councillor. Do we have a seconder? Councillor Thurley. Taking the motion, Mayor King. Thank you. Councillor Callahan. do you wish to open debate or speak to the motion? I'd just like to briefly speak to the motion. Um, whilst we're putting this plan out for stakeholder engagement in light of the $558 million commitment to the Albury Base Hospital upgrades, as a council, we're still advocating for release of the clinical services plan and the pending master plan of the hospital to truly guide what the vision is for this precinct and meet the aspirations of the community moving forward. Thank, Thank you. you. Councillor Callahan. Any other speakers for or against in relation to this motion? In that case... Happy to put the motion. Those for, those against, that motion is carried. CM 13.4, the draft Aubrey Local Housing Strategy Public Exhibition Submissions. Councillor Edwards. I move that Council A receive and note the submissions received through the public exhibition period of the draft Aubrey Local Housing Strategy, attachments one and two, and B endorse the final version of the Aubrey Local Housing Strategy, attachment three. Thank you, Councillor Edwards. Do we have a seconder? Councillor Thurley. Taking the motion, Mickey. Councillor Edwards, do you wish to speak to the motion? Uh, yes, please. Uh, I'm really pleased to see the development of this crucial strategy and look forward to the, the actions coming to life, particularly council working and partnering with community housing providers and government to create more public and social housing for those who need it most, and council using existing and potential levers and powers to encourage a mix of housing, particularly affordable housing. For Thaguna and Willinga, this document outlines Council's commitment to strategies that encourage design and delivery of sustainable homes, ensure that all new housing development is properly supported by infrastructure and improve environmental outcomes. 
I'd like to highlight some feedback on the strategy in relation to Thaguna and Wollinga that called on council to give greater consideration to enhancing design, amenity and function and promoting human-centric place-based design and best practice urban design to create great places to live and work. I look forward to these and environmental considerations being addressed in the upcoming Thaguna Wollinga precinct structure plan review. In summary, everyone deserves a home and I support this strategy that sets out the direction for Council's role in making that a reality. Thank you, Councillor Edwards. Any other speakers for or against? In that case, we'll put the motion. Those for? Those against? That motion is carried. CM 13.5, Draft Albury City Communications and Engagement Strategy, Project Scope and Stakeholder Engagement Plan. Does the councillor wish to move that motion? Councillor Callahan. Thank you, Mayor King. I'd like to move that the council endorse the scope and stakeholder engagement plan for the development of the Albury City Communications and Engagement Strategy. Thank you. Councillor Thurley. Taking the motion, Mayor King. Thank you. Councillor Callahan, do you wish to speak to the motion? No, thank you, Mayor King. Okay. Councillor Edwards, speaker four? Or Yep. Yeah, I just wanted to touch on the fact that we've had a lot of feedback about the way we get feedback, um, particularly around the East Aubrey, um, Hill, Eastern Hill uh, master plan. So I think this is really timely and I encourage um, everyone to um, get on board. Thank you. Thank you. Speaker for Councillor Baker. I would also like to um, support this recommendation and encourage the public to give their feedback and offer different ways that we can communicate with them to get the answers we need. Uh, it's really important to hear from the whole cross-section of the community, and sometimes we don't. And if they can come up with some great ideas for us, it will be much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Baker. Any further speakers to sum up? Happy? We'll put the motion. Those for? Those against? That motion is carried. CM 13.6, the draft Les O'Brien Athletics Precinct Master Plan, public exhibition submissions. Councillor Betteridge. Thank you. Through you, Mayor King, I'd like to move that Council A, receive a note submissions received in response to the public exhibition process, and B, adopt the revised draft Les O'Brien Athletics Precinct Master Plan with minor amendments as described in this report. Thank you. Councillor Glacken. Happy to second that. Thank you. Councillor Betridge, do you wish to speak to the motion? Uh, yes, thank you. The Les O'Brien Athletics Precinct is a facility widely used and valued by our community, with approximately 25,000 people per year participating in activities held at this venue. The 50 to 60 local and regional school athletics carnivals that are held each year are a strong indicator that the venue is utilised by our youth which is an important indicator and gauge as to the relevance of ongoing development and retention of this facility into the future. The Les O'Brien Athletics Precinct Advisory Committee, which is comprised of representatives of user groups and council staff, have collated a list of upgrade items for the facility, identifying the priorities and putting this all together to develop the master plan. The master plan was placed on public exhibition for a 28 day period, and of the 42 submissions received, 40 were supportive of the plan. I have no hesitation in speaking in support of the motion as having an endorsed master plan with the support of the user groups will provide council with direction in planning and leveraging external funding for priority elements within the plan. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Betridge. Speaker for Councillor Glacken. Uh, yes, if I may, and thank you for the opportunity to speak, noting that um, there appear to be no one against this uh, recommendation this evening. Um, I wanted to highlight a couple of things and, and thank Councillor Betteridge for highlighting uh, the, the fact that in reality, this is a regional facility uh, and utilised uh, by a significant regional footprint. Uh, and that is very important uh, to note. The other thing I wanted to highlight is uh, the ongoing collaboration between the organisational groups that use not only that facility, but co-located other facilities in that precinct. Um, and the, in particular, uh, the part that uh, resonated with me was the hockey uh, complex and um, 
uh, group who share a facility and are working towards uh, enabling uh, the redevelopment of that facility. And I think that is a fabulous example of how um, co two things work. One is co-location of facilities and services, but then the collaboration of organisations utilising those co-located uh, facilities. And, and I'd like to uh, highlight how wonderful that opportunity will be uh, uh, into the future for our community uh, as it has been uh, to date. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Glacken. Councillor Bettridge, do you wish to sum up or happy to put the motion? Happy to put the motion, Mayor. Thank you. Councillors, those for, those against, the motion is carried. Thank you. CM 13.7, Lavington Sports Ground Grandstand Naming Public Consultation Outcomes. Councillor Bowen. Thank you, Mayor King. I'd like to move that uh, Council A receive and notes the responses to the public consultation process and B endorse the naming of the new section of the Lavington Sports Ground Grandstand, the CT Donnelly Stand. Thank you. Councillor Glacken. I'm very happy to second that. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Bowen, do you wish to speak to the motion? Just briefly, if I may, just briefly, just uh, great to see this come back. I did uh, did read the report and uh, to those, but there were a, a couple against that aspect of it. Uh, but all in all, it's great to see this stand being uh, recognised and also to see uh, uh, Cole Donnelly stand recognised as well too for the work that he's done based on uh, the, uh, a real start to uh, the Lamington Sports Club area and also kicking off a number of the Lamington Sports uh, Club itself as well too uh, and also being president in that time for a 17-year period as well too. So I think it's a, a great thing going forward plus also the fact that we'll be able to name the stand in a different area so we have different areas from a, a safety aspect of it, also from a, 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 a alcohol-free zone area as well too if we need to note that and just making it uh, a lot uh, easier for people to understand where they are at the, uh, at the ground. So uh, I hope that uh, councillors will endorse this. Thank you, Councillor Bowen. Any other speakers for or against? In that case, we'll put the motion. Those for? Those against, that motion is carried. CM14 officers reports for noting CM14.1 community satisfaction, the 2023 interim pulse survey results. Councillor Callahan. Thank you, Mayor King. I'd like to move that the council receive and note the results of the community satisfaction, satisfaction interim survey report 2023. Thank you. Councillor Glacken. I'm happy to second. Thank you. Councillor Callahan. do you wish to speak to the motion? No, thank you, Mickey. Any other speakers for or against? In that case, we'll put the motion. Those for? Those against? That motion is carried. Item CM 14.2, investment balances, February 2023. Councillor Edwards. I move that council receive and note the investment balances report for the month of February 2023. Thank you. Councillor Betridge. Uh, through you, Mayor King, happy to second the motion. Councillor Edwards, do you wish to speak to the motion? Just briefly, just to say that I'm really pleased that as of February, the percentage of investments held with financial institutions that do not invest in the fossil fuel industry equated 36% of the investment portfolio. And this is great to see, and I look forward to this percentage continuing to increase. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Edwards. Any other speakers for or against in that case? We'll put the motion. Those for? Those against? The motion is carried. CM15, delegates reports for noting. There are none. CM16, notice of urgent business. None. Thank you, Councillors. CM17, Confidential Matters. Councillor Glacken. Thank you. I'd like to move that, uh, Council, uh, move into confidential to discuss item uh, CM17.1, as this is a confidential item exclusive to press and public on the grounds that the matters relate to um, uh, commercial, uh, sorry, relate to the matters and information are the following commercial uh, information of a commercial nature that would disclose prejudice, the commercial position of the person who supplied it. 
uh, that's with reference to Local Government Act 1993, uh, number 30, section 10A2DI. Thank you. Thank you. Have a seconder, Councillor Thurley? Second the motion, Mickey. Thank you. Uh, put that motion, those for, those against, that motion is carried. Are there any statements or submissions from the public regarding the reasons as identified for this confidential item CM 17.1? There are none. Councillor Glacken, we will note, is leaving the room. And clearing the gallery. 